A reading from the fourth chapter of Philippians, verse 11. Not that I am referring to being in need, for I have learned to be content with whatever I have. Word of God, word of life. Reality gives us the opportunity to look for our experiences and situations differently. Something old is given new life, or something taken for granted becomes a treasure. After the fact, we are able to see God at work in our lives and learn that he can be trusted. God uses disappointments, tragedy, suffering, betrayal, and even death, not to hurt us, but to bring us to a larger truth. The story is told of a farmer who had lived on the same farm all of his life. It was a good farm with fertile soil, but with the passing of years, the farmer began to think, maybe there's something better for me. He set out to find an even better plot of land to farm. Every day, he found a new reason for criticizing some feature of his old farm. Finally, he decided to sell. He listed the farm with a real estate broker who promptly prepared an advertisement emphasizing all the advantages of the acreage. Ideal location. Modern equipment, heavy, healthy stock, acres of fertile ground, high yields on crops, well-kept barns and pens, and a nice two-story house on a hill above the pasture. The real estate agent called the farmer to read the ad for his approval prior to putting it in the local paper. The farmer listened intently. When the real estate agent had finished, the farmer cried, Hold everything! I have changed my mind. I'm not going to sell. Why, I have been looking for a place just like that all of my life. Suddenly, he saw a larger truth. I can relate to the value of family property. Recently, I had an opportunity to see a larger truth. As a third generation of German immigrants to Texas, I'm fortunate to be a steward of a portion of my great grandfather's property in Llano County. The property is a place with one half mile along the Llano River, a family cemetery, a two-story rock house, and where many memories were and continue to be made. Three years ago, I had major rehab work done on the house because it had significantly deteriorated since the late 1800s. It still had the original windows. Afterwards, the facelifting, the facelift was amazing. Then blew, Easter blew in like a storm, literally. The roof was gone, water was inside the house, furniture was wet, and many trees down, some on the house. Reaction. Shock. What to do. Un unbelievable. On Easter, amid COVID-19, did I waste the money spent on the rehab? Calm down. Take a deep breath. I am not in charge. Focus. Think about what didn't happen. Two weeks have passed, and looking back, God was in the midst. No one was injured. The rehab work saved the house from being damaged beyond repair. The roofers had the opening covered by the following Friday, and I have received payment from the insurance company. When I can identify the good things in a difficult situation, I find they far outweigh the bad. It takes God's help through discernment to see the larger truth. Contentment isn't getting what we want, but being satisfied with what we have. 
I leave you with words from Evelyn Underhill. I cling to the world as though there is nothing else, as though all my hope is in what I can capture with my eyes and clutch it in my hands like a child with a cookie jar. But for all the hope I have, I place in having more, I end up with less, unless I let go of everything but you. Amen and amen.